Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Ted again, back with uh, Tech Vitamins. Uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Kindle Fire, uh, but uh, with a little twist, and I'm sure you can probably tell by the uh, title of the video. We're going to be uh, taking a look at the Kindle Fire running Cyanogenmod 7. Now, if you're uh, not familiar with uh, Cyanogenmod 7, it's a uh, community uh, custom built ROM. Uh, it was started started uh, a few years back by a guy named uh, Steve Condick S Steve Condick who uh, goes by uh, Cyanogen uh, he started building uh, custom ROMs on the uh, what first developer Android's phone was at the uh, G1 then of course he uh, moved on um, and he has uh, since built a, a huge community with uh, multiple multiple developers coming together and of course, uh, one of those developers has been nice enough to go ahead and port CyanogenMod to the Kindle Fire. And that's what we're uh, looking at right here. Um, so that is uh, Android Gingerbread uh, 2.3.7, I believe. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll take a quick look at that here. Uh, about tablet here. And. You can see it's uh, Kindle Fire, yep, running Android 2.3.7 with the uh, 2.6.35.7 kernel. Um, now, it uh, it was a bit wonky when they had first ported it, but uh, it, all the all the kinks uh, as far as, you know, day-to-day -day use have been uh, ironed out. Uh, just two, two little particulars, and it, and it doesn't affect usability. Uh, just that uh, the like maximize screen or full scrot full size screen button is uh is a little bit wonky and it kind of doesn't show up when it uh when it should all the time but give it you know like 2 or 3 seconds and it will show up and then also sometimes it does show up when it uh when it shouldn't uh same as with the uh headphone display uh there's no problems with the headphones it's just uh, when you plug something in it'll stay on after it's uh, unplugged but sound still comes through the speakers when you unplug it when you plug it back in uh, you know uh, it comes through the headphones as it should um, so so yeah I mean it uh, one of my worries when I when I was uh, putting this on here was uh, was I gonna lose any any usability uh, with my fire and uh, you do uh, lose the ability to uh, you know, if you're a, a Amazon Prime member to to use their instant streaming services, you lose that. But uh, as you can see, you know, when you do this, it gives you access to the whole Android market, and you are able to download, uh, you know, the Amazon regular Amazon app and the Amazon Kindle app as well. Um, I was also worried that they may have, uh, you know, some some problems with as far as the drivers or anything. But there's no no problems with that sound, and uh, and everything works just fine. Uh, you know, you're able you're able to uh, you know we'll pull up the browser here. Uh, browser browser functions just like the uh, you know any any other browser would. Uh, we'll go ahead here. So it's uh, you know uh, pretty much just a bigger version. Uh, most of you are probably like, duh, it's a it's a seven inch tablet. But like I like I said again, one of my concerns was maybe losing some some functionality or usability uh, when when putting Cyanogen mod on here. But uh, like I, like I told you, haven't haven't lost any usability at all. It it uh, performs as though it had uh, you know. Uh, Android, you know, regular Android, if you will, uh, on on this device from the uh, from the get go, uh, and you know uh, everything everything is uh, is nice and smooth. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll pull up Angry Birds here. Everybody is familiar with Angry Birds. Um, you know, games games run run just as if they would on you know any other dual core Android tablet. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go ahead and play. Let's play this. And da, 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 come on, hurry up and get past this thing here. 
So yeah, as I was saying, you know, um, every 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 app that uh, you know that's worked that'll work on your phone has, uh, or that at least that I've tried so far has worked on my uh, on my tablet. Uh, it's it is nice and smooth. You see, pinch to zoom is nice and nice and smooth. Did I shoot a bird backwards? Oh, well, I may have, but uh, you know, if we shoot in there. Nice and smooth, no hiccups, no herkin, herky or jerky movement or anything like that. Um, and you know, like I said, my uh, just my my overall experience with this has just been totally expanded. Um, I'm not saying that it uh, it wasn't a good device with uh, Amazon's little skin over top of it, but uh, just wasn't wasn't exactly what I wanted to use it for. Uh, but now that I've been able to install Cyanogen Mod on here, it has opened up. Uh, like I said, the you know the uh, the whole Android market. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take a quick look at that here. And oh, looks like I got some updates. But we'll go ahead and take a go back to here and home screen of the uh, of the apps app market or market I should just say because. They're starting to sell everything now. Um, you know, scrolling, like I said, nice and uh, responsive. Um, and it, uh, you know, it doesn't doesn't uh, restrict you from anything like it uh, like it would have if it had Amazon skin over it. As you can see, it's got access to the uh, full Android market. Um, and uh, you know, just just overall. Uh, it's been it's been great so far using it. Um, also with uh, Cyanogen Mod, what you get are some uh, some additional tweaks as well. Um, aside from just a you know a pure Google experience, they also do um, make some uh, some tweaks to the uh, code to enhance the uh, user experience. Um, so if you're you know if you've been using Cyanogen Mod, you've got your uh, you know your application settings which will allow you to uh, move applications change permissions um, you've got the uh, display options which allow you to, to uh, customize how it will rotate and whether or not you get the uh, little pretty screen off animation um, uh, some uh, some tweaks to the uh, to the interface um, you can take uh, you can share screenshots um, the power prompt which is what you get when you long press the uh, home or I don't know the only button I should say on the Kindle Fire uh, gives you this uh, little expanded menu as opposed to uh, you know what you're used to normally seeing on a on a phone because there's only one button on the uh, Kindle uh, so you know gives you some uh, little additional tweaks such as uh, such as those and then it's also got uh, some uh, tablet specific tweaks yeah, so you know, as you see, I've got the uh, status bar on the bottom, but uh, everybody who's got an Android phone is used to seeing it on the uh, on the top. Uh, you can uh, disable uh, full, full screen, disable the lock screen. That's what I've done because I'm not going to need to uh, you know lock my tablet. It's going to be in my house or or with me. It's not not like a phone. Not like I can really lose a seven inch device. Or or I shouldn't really say that. I I could lose that. Hope I don't though. Uh, I digress, but anyway, you know, it gives you some uh, some extra little tweaks, um, and uh, you know, overall, Cyanogen Mod uh, Seven on the uh, Android uh, or the uh, Amazon Kindle has just been awesome. Like I said, it opens up the uh, the uh, regular market for you, gives you access to uh, to all those widgets, and it doesn't have. Most importantly, it doesn't have that god awful Amazon skin over it um, now some people may rip on me for that because they they might like it but I hated it it uh, it seemed to really hinder it uh, and uh, you know again just just installing Cyanogen Mod gives you uh, gives you uh, you know just just it expands the uh, the usability of this device by leaps and bounds um, but uh, the only downfall to it is you do lose access to uh, Amazon's streaming services. But 
like I said, if you've got, uh, if, if, if you're interested in putting regular uh, Android or, or custom ROM uh, on your Kindle Fire, you're going to have other, other means of getting your uh, media to your device. Uh, so, so, yep, that's, uh, that's it here. Quick look at uh, CyanogenMod Mod 7. And uh, let us know what you think. Take care, guys. Bye.